Hello, and welcome to another chat. This one is going to be about chat GPT and submarines. So if you want to know whether you know more about submarines than chat GPT, it's a good way to find out. But more seriously, we're going to test it, basically ask it some submarine facts and see if it gets the answers right or wrong. I am H.I. Sutton. I'm a defense analyst. Like my other chats, this one is going to be unscripted and unedited. If you like it, please, well, like, subscribe, share, and so on. ChatGPT is getting a lot of attention, rightly so, I think. It is very impressive. I'm not going to be overly critical of it. I'm pretty wowed. Um, it is definitely a generation better than anything I've seen before. Quite useful. How it works, you ask it a question or, or make a comment, and it writes something back. So it can interpret your question very well. And it can generate very convincing text, which can pull in facts and uh, notions. It's very, very good. This, for example, typed in, I typed in first submarine and it starts telling us about the turtle. Great. There's one issue, though. Um, they acknowledge this. It's a machine learning program. It is not going uh, trying to assess what is factually correct. It is not always correct. And unfortunately, that means that if you've got people who are using it to gather knowledge or to present themselves as experts, and that would be quite convincing, I think, actually the facts might be wrong. Let's test it. So how it's going to work, I'm going to ask it some questions that I know the answer to, and I'm going to walk you through what it got right, what it got wrong. It's all about submarines, because obviously that's what I normally uh, write and talk about. So what is the largest submarine? Now, I think a lot of you guys in the audience already know the answer. Um, ChatGPT does as well. It's the Typhoon class submarine. So it got that right. That is brilliant. Good start. It knows the largest submarine is the Typhoon class. It then gives us some details about it. it says it's 170 meters long. That is not fully correct, but I'd, I'd give it a pass on that. It's actually about 172 meters, depending on which boat. They're all different lengths and are often estimated 175 meters. It's really big, but uh, 170 meters, I think that's excusable. 48,000 tons when submerged. Yes, that's the, the main uh, estimate. 20 intercontinental ballistic missiles. Yes. Multiple nuclear warheads. Yes. Six were built. Correct. And commissioned between 1980 and 1989. Yes. So... If you were to cut and paste this into a topic about Typhoon, you know, in the comments in, in YouTube or in Reddit or on Twitter or whatever, you might seem like a real expert. People think you're really well researched. But actually, it's also giving you some false information because at the bottom, it then mentions that the Russian Navy decommissioned the last of the Typhoon class in 2010 to 12. That's incorrect. Um some were decommissioned, all but one. One of them is still in service, last I heard. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. It was meant to be decommissioned last year and actually a bit of a saga, um, but it hasn't yet been decommissioned, I believe. Okay, this is my illustration of Typhoon. Fantastic submarine. Um, check it out on my website, Covert Shores. Let's ask it a slightly harder question. Let's ask it what the fastest submarine is. Again, moment for you to think in your head what it is the answer is the papa class much less famous than typhoon for sure again it's a russian submarine built in the 1960s this one it's a very big submarine but very powerful nuclear reactors or relatively powerful and a very lightweight hull made out of titanium and it can achieve 44.7 knots possibly a bit faster 44.85 knots um unofficially so really fast. And that's about 51 miles an hour. Keep that in mind. So we ask it, what is fast submarine? And we're expecting the answer to be PAPA class. But unfortunately, it says that the fastest submarine is the Russian Navy's Akula class, also known as Shark class. No one ever says Shark class, actually. Akula is just the Russian word for shark. Here's an illustration of it. It's, it's wrong. It's not the fastest submarine. It's quite fast but it's not the fastest just a point of clarity there's actually two submarines called a cooler so it could 
I suppose, mean either of them. On the left, we have the Typhoon class, which the Russians call a cooler. And on the right, we have the Project 971 class, which NATO calls a cooler. I think they mean the, the NATO one. Um, normally on blogs such as Covert Shores, I use capitalization for NATO code names and uh, normal or proper uh, for uh, formatting for just names. On the internet, generally, you're just going to get it a cooler with a capital A and the rest lowercase, of course. So it's got the cooler class wrong. It then goes on to tell us how fast it goes. And it says it can reach speeds up to 37 miles an hour. This is incorrect. Speed is a little bit slow. Um, it's actually 35 knots, which is about 40 miles an hour. Notice how it gave you the answer as miles per hour. To people who know about submarines or ships, you know that actually speeds are normally represented in knots. Depends on the country, maybe, but not miles per hour. So a knot is a nautical mile per hour. And a nautical mile is a bit longer than a regular mile. So 35 knots is 40 miles per hour. It then gives us some more facts. These are correct for the Akula class, not APRA class, obviously. But then it has another error further down. It says it, the, the first was commissioned in 1986. Now, that sounds very convincing. I'd be honest, I wouldn't bat an eyelid if someone said that. But actually, I looked it up. It's 1984, not 1986. I don't know where it got 1986 from, but that's incorrect. So what about the PAPA class? Does, does ChatGPT not know about the, the PAPA class? Can't it find something out? So I actually asked it about the PAPA class. What is the PAPA class submarine? And the answer it gave me, the PAPA class submarines, plural, are a type of Soviet diesel electric submarines that were built during the Cold War. This is wrong on a couple of, in a couple of ways. The first one is they weren't, it wasn't diesel electric, it was nuclear powered. And the second, there was only one of them. So it's no plural. It's just, it was a submarine. It's not a class of submarine. Um, you still say PAPA class, even though there's only one in the class. Now, it's actually worse than that because it continues. It says, they were known in the Soviet Union as the Project 677 Lada class submarines and were developed as an improved version of the earlier Kilo class submarines. I should have put a bit more red here. There's, there's more wrong with this statement than, than I've highlighted. Firstly, the Soviet Union is a misleading statement. They were designed, or rather the Lada class was designed in the Soviet Union. But it wasn't built until the 1990s and actually took a really long time to build. And there's still only a few of them. However, the Project 677 Lada class is not in any way related to the PAPA class. In, it's as, as far away from the PAPA class as is possible within the realm of Russian submarines. Also, it says it developed as an improved version of the earlier Kilo class. Should have put that red as well. It's not a version of the Kilo class. It's a successor, it's an improvement, but it is a completely different submarine. Again, it's not, not directly related. As the same people designed it and so on, the design is very different. It gives some more information. It says um, the main feature of the Lada class is use of air independent power or propulsion. It says the same thing, AIP. That's incorrect. There was plenty of talk about it having AIP in older sources. It never happened. And for they've just never been built with AIP. I would say that they're unlikely to ever get AIP, although there's always, um, you know, always the promise. So that's, that's wrong also. I won't critique the rest, but it's uh, a mixed bag. I then thought, well, maybe because I used all lowercase when I said PAPA class, Maybe I need to make it clearer. And I used capital letters just to see if I get a different response. I did get a different response, but also a wrong one. The PAPA class is a type of diesel electric submarine used by the Indian Navy. No, it's not. It's a PAPA class was a nuclear submarine used by the Russian Navy or the Soviet Navy at the time. It then says it's made up of four boats and it starts listing them. It is mixing up here a completely unrelated submarine, which is the Kilo class. 
and the kilo class supplied to India, 10 of them, not four of them. Those named boats are all part of that class. They are diesel electric, nothing to do with PAPA class. Then for, it doesn't do facts very well, but how does it do sort of arguments or opinion, more, more emotive topics? I asked it, are Chinese submarines any good? Now, I was actually expecting to get quite a negative answer because there's a lot of material out there saying that Chinese submarines are inferior, they're noisier, etc. Some of that's based in truth, but a lot of it is, you know, is somewhat biased views. I was pleasantly surprised. It actually gave a better a more balanced answer. He said Chinese submarines are considered quite capable and advanced. They have been developed and built by China over the years and have undergone significant improvements in terms of technology and capabilities. I'd say that's fair. Yeah. Um, we could argue what does quite capable and advanced mean, especially in comparison to other country submarines, so on. But there's no denying that they have made significant improvements. It then starts adding facts, and this is where it goes quite wrong again. It says that there's several classes, including the o Type 039A Yuan class, the 093 Shan class, and the 095 Jin class. Now, firstly, the Jin class. The Type 095 is not the Jin class. It's not been built yet, but it will be the Tang class. The Jin class is the 094. Now, if you know anything about submarines, you know that these one digits differences are important a type 095 is not a gin class it's a completely different submarine it then goes on to say they are considered amongst the most advanced diesel electric submarines in the world you could argue that for the uran class the one i've highlighted in blue but the two that i've highlighted in pink are nuclear submarines they are not diesel electric submarines and then it goes on to say more stuff a bit uncomfortable it says at the very bottom you see it says the information um, is considered to be a class classified information. That sounds intelligent. It's a load of nonsense. It would be classified if you have it um, information from certain sources and you're in certain militaries and you're subject to classification and so on. You can't just generally say this information is classified. It's got to be context specific. It's not movies. Okay. What is the best submarine move? This is the real question we wanted to ask. So can chat, chat GPT solve the endless mystery? There's only one right answer. Ah, if you know chat GPT, you've probably seen this screen plenty before. Oh, well. So thanks for listening. Um, let's say like, subscribe, share. Hopefully interesting. Hopefully you've learned a bit about submarines. Probably knew more about submarines than chat GPT. Okay, I'll uh, leave it there.